Hi, till now I discussed four chapters of algorithm. Chapter 1, algorithm analysis that comes under asymmetric worst case time and space complexity. Chapter 2 that is brute force technique there I discussed sequential sorts that comes under searching. Selection sort, bubble sort, radix sort that comes under sorting. DFS and PFS that comes under graph traversal. Next chapter 3 decrease and concur. There I discussed insertion sort, topological sort that comes under sorting. Topological sort that also part of graph traversal. Then binary search that comes under searching. In our syllabus there is just two search. One is sequential search. Another is binary search that comes under searching. Next chapter 4 that is divide and concur. There I discussed min max problem, matrix multiplication that comes under divide and concur. More sort, quick sort that comes under sorting also divide and concur. Then binary tree traversal and related property that comes under divide and concur. Next I will discuss chapter 4 that is transform and concur technique. There I will discuss heap and heap sort, balance sort tree. Heap sort comes under sorting. And in balance sort tree I will just discuss the algorithm part not data structure part. So in chapter 5 transform and concur I will discuss heaps and heap sort next balance sort tree. Let's first understand what is transform and concur technique. Concur means solve, transform means we are transforming into another form. The problem is in one form if we are transforming into another form then trying to solve that is transform and concur technique. This design method is based on the idea of transformation. We are transforming into another form. So this method works as two stages of procedure. First, the transformation stage where we will transform the problem instant into another form. Second, the concur stage or you can see where we will solve. There are three types of transformation. First, transformation to a simpler or more convenient instance of the same problem. We call it instance simplification means some input is given if we are transforming that input to some more convenient instance or simpler instance that we can say instance simplification. Next transform to different representation of the same instance we call it representation change. Next transform to an instance of a different problem for which an algorithm easily available we call it problem reduction. So there are three types of transformation. One is instant simplification, representation change, another is problem reduction. So one problem instance is given, either we can convert to simpler instance or another representation or another problem instance, then we can get the solution. In heap sort, one array is given, we are converting to a heap. Heap is a tree structure, then we are trying to solve. That comes under representation change. We are transforming into a tree structure that is a representation change. Simpler instance, suppose one number contain 3 or 4 digit, we will convert into simply 2. Means 4 digit that we are converting simply into 1 digit that is a simpler instance. Some instance is given, some input is given, we are writing the simpler version of it that is a simpler instance. Next is another problem instance. Next is another problem instance. Suppose before solving we are doing first sorting. For sorting there are lots of algorithm present. We are first doing the sorting then we are trying to solve. So that we can say another problem instance. Some instance some input is given. That input we are considering for another algorithm for which algorithm already exists. Then we are trying to solve. For example, uniqueness problem, before solving uniqueness problem, first we can do sorting, then we can apply the uniqueness algorithm. Further, the instance contain unique element or some repeated element. So that's all about transform and concur technique. We can transform into simpler instance or another representation or another problem instance, then we can concur or we can solve. In next lecture, I will start heap and heap sort. If this lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.